Now we'll download and install XAMPP. Go to www.apachefriends.org and download the latest XAMPP package, which is version 5.6.14 at the time I speak. It's a large file and my connection seems to be very slow, so I'll speed up the video to the point where the download has completed. At the end, in Firefox you can right click on the progress bar and choose Open Containing Folder to go to the Downloads folder. Once the download is completed, click on the installation file to begin the installation. Click Run. And you may get a message about your antivirus program. Click Yes to continue. According to your user account control settings, you may get a warning about missing file permissions. If so, then close this dialog by clicking OK and change the UAC settings by clicking on the Windows Start button, type in UAC and click on Change User Account Control Settings. Move the slider down to Never Notify and click OK. You can go back and re-enable UAC at the end if you want. Then click Next to proceed with the XAMPP installation. Under Select Components you can leave everything as it is and click Next again. Leave the installation folder as C backslash XAMPP and click Next again. If you want to read more about Bitnami and its ability to install WordPress and Joomla and Drupal and other common CMSs then leave the checkbox selected and click Next again and again. Installation started and I'll speed up the video until it's completed. At the end leave the checkbox labelled Do you want to start the control panel now? ticked and click Finish. And the XAMPP control panel should start up. Before we start using the new installation let's copy your configuration settings from your previous installation so that you don't lose these. 